Hey guys, Adrian again from Ask How Tube. Um, I'm just gonna make a short video to explain to you how am I doing uh, beading for corners. So on here, I'm gonna fit this. So I'm just gonna make a short video to show you how I do it properly. Um, when I do plastering, I don't let anyone to fit the beadings for me because if you don't fit them properly and I'll, I'll explain to you through the video if you don't do properly it's hard life on plastering so yeah I'm gonna explain to you okay so first we're gonna measure I'll, I'll always put the top one first I don't know if other people doing the same, but I find it easier. Okay. So I put the measure tape. Now something funny. Uh, I know somebody who, when wanted to cut the beat, he cut the tape measure as well. <laughs> so don't do it. You have to be very careful. Something I want to explain. I always cut these corners out. I just want to make sure it can be seen on the video. Yeah, and the reason I do it is because corners easily come out. I'll, exp I'll show you when I put it on top on the wall. this corner bead to be in line with the top one that's why I said I'm not letting anyone to fit the, this beading for me because if they don't do it properly if it's this is more inside than this one how can I make with plaster a perfect corner or if it will be out outside more than this the, the top one will make my life harder so I always make sure it's perfect perfect in line with the top one that's very important very important how I'm gonna explain this I'm gonna take the camera very important this corner is outside than the plasterboard on both sides because look I'm gonna show you this if it's not minimum this gap where are you gonna put the plastering so I had corner beads fitted by someone else where this one was much inside than the wall. So 
This is a perfect. That's the way it should be. And now I can show you closer what I meant. Look. I must be level with that. Uh, same this corner, this side. And while I'm doing this now, I'm gonna show you how to fit an end beading. This side and the chimney is not gonna come plastering. So plaster will come all the way up to here. So I'm gonna fit an ending beading. I'm gonna show you that as well now. I will uh, mix some adhesive and uh, you see the places where it's moving, we don't want that. So I'm gonna, now it's just on the position, it's level, but I'm gonna make it harder not to move anymore with some uh, plasterboard adhesive. So yeah, that's how I do beadings. Um, good luck with your jobs and um, don't forget to subscribe because we will add more and more videos with uh, other projects, other interesting things to repair. I am... Um, I'm gonna film every single thing I'll fix. Every single thing I will try to fix actually, because I'm not saying that I can fix everything. Friends of mine says, yeah, you can do, I don't think so, I don't agree. But I'm trying. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe to, our ch to my channel because I'm gonna keep you busy. Good luck.